Okay, here we are with the uh, SCM Minimax ME15 pre-glued edge bander. Just gonna do a quick rundown on using it and operator functions. Um, the manual and those things are inside this bag in, in the electrical cabinet, or not the electrical cabinet, the cabinet here. That just screws up. Okay, so. First thing is our controls. We've got our main isolator on and off, temperature controller to turn your feed belt and your trimmers on and emergency stop. So you need to make sure you have it plugged into air and power, three phase power this particular machine with a neutral and you must have the uh, air connected. Otherwise you won't be able to turn the trimmers on. So when we turn it on, light comes on and you hear the fan come on for the hot air gun and you can actually feel the air blowing out the back. And then if we turn this knob here, you can hear a slight change of noise in the heat gun and it will start to heat up. So for this pre-glued edge bander, we generally run it about 325 in summer and 375 in the winter, thereabouts. You can see it's climbing up. And it does heat up quite quick and you'll feel on the back there, it's getting nice and warm. This little flap can lift up too. So it's currently on full ball, but we probably want to put it to around seven and a half, eight. So we'll slow the heating down a little bit. And we'll just let it get to that set temperature where it hovers around that 370 because it's quite cold at the moment. Feeding your edge tape through, obviously you need pre-glued edge tape. Through the guides here. You can see it coming out. It's a little bit hard one-handed. There's a lever on the back here which will open up this roller so when you're feeding your edge tape through it makes it a little bit easier for you just to feed that through. And then normally we set our strip guide height which is adjusted by this knob here. So if you have a look we can lift that up or down. It's moving that top plate there up and down. Now the best time to set these strip guides is when it is cold because when it is hot, you'll feed the edge tape through and it will start melting. Um, I do have it warm now, so I'm gonna have to sort of set it and just hopefully not leave it too long. So generally you bring it down till it touches the edging and it pinches it tight and then give it about one full turn um, the opposite way to lift it up and give enough clearance. Same with this knob here, you need to loosen off this that slides up and down, drop that down onto edging, and then just lift a little bit and nip it up. So you should have, when you pull this roller back, you should have it sliding through fairly easily. Not too tight, but not too loose. If it's too loose, the edging will ride up and it won't cover the edge tape properly. If it is too tight, um, then it won't feed your edge tape and get stuck. So we want to start the edge tape, you can just see here, in line with this guillotine because basically every time it cuts off, that is where it's going to start again from. So we're at 400, we just turn it down and touch, so I'm at seven. We've got our three rollers here. You wanna make sure this is always kept nice and clean. If you don't keep the machine clean, it will not operate properly. You'll just have all sorts of issues. Blades, things like that, keeping them clean um, is really important and your cutters here. So this does open up. If we turn this knob, it'll give us good access to the machine and we can lift this flat like we did to give you nice, uh, easy access to work on things and, and uh, uh, put, clean the machine and set it up. Height is adjusted by here. So when you want to set your board thickness, feed it in till it's holding in position there. Leave it loose. And then you adjust this knob to your desired height. So if we're gonna go on say 25 mil, we can go straight up to it, straight up to it. If we're gonna go uh, down to say 16, we always go past 16 and then back up. And that releases any slop in the thread. And you should do this whenever you're doing any adjustments on the machine, like your trimmers and things like that. Then we lock this off. When you're locking off, just sort of take a little bit of weight off the pressure, the, the conveyor here, and then nip that up. 
If you don't just take that little bit of weight up there, it can be a bit tight when you're feeding your panel through. Changing your different thickness of um, edge tape. So we've currently got it set for one mil. So we loosen off this knob and you would adjust this knob here to the thickness edge tape. So if it's two mil, we go to two and that will compensate for this entry fence here. Again, when you want to go back down, you go past it and then come back up and then you get a nice accurate reading. Knock that back off. Get that up there. Our trimmers on the back. There is actually two knobs there on the back that you can adjust. And there's a little picture which shows you which way and how they work. So currently we're running on, we've got it set for 1103 because we want to put a slight round on when we do this uh, one mil. If we just put it on one, it would be a square finish and a bit proud. But because we want to take a little bit more off, um, make it a, to get rid of that sharp edge, we put it on 1113. Oh, sorry, 0013. So whatever you do to the top, you do it to the bottom. That'll get you close and you can tweak it a little bit if you need to go more. All right, so edge tape's loaded. We're at temperature, probably a little bit hot, we'll just turn it down. If it's too hot, the edge tape will slip off the edging, uh, off the board when it feeds through. So if you see the edge tape go through, and it, it's, the panel keeps going, but the edge tape stays still and slips, it's too hot, the glue is too wet and it's not gripping. Obviously, if it's not hot enough, then it won't stick to the board. So that's a few little things there to know. Okay, so we'll turn it on. Get the board. Now, when you're feeding in this machine, it's really important that you keep this constant pressure the whole way. Um, I always suggest you, you you push it in. Don't just let it go, because uh, the trimming will not be as nice as uh, if you do keep a bit of pressure on that. So you can see, going through and trimming. I've still got that pressure on the panel. See that has come out. So again, push that in. So you can see how it works. This roller down here starts the feeding process, and then once it's grabbed, it goes all the way through, and we'll trim it. We are running without an extractor, but you must run the machine with an extractor. It's really important that you do use that. Otherwise it will block up all the tubes and the cutters and everything and not work as efficient. Okay, so edge this panel all the way around. When we're finished, turn it off there. Now the fan will keep running, but you can't just turn off the machine because you can damage the heating element. So it's really important you always cool the heater down, set it to zero, give it a few minutes, and do not turn off the machine until the temperature is below 100 degrees. Otherwise you can damage that heating element in there. When you're finished, we can give it all compressed air. Kerosene to clean any excess glue. You can see there's a bit on there. So the kerosene just softens it up. You leave it for a few minutes and then it will come straight off with the blower. Same with on there, on the rollers. You can spray it on these rollers as well. Just don't leave it sitting on there for too long. Get your blower. Because the kerosene is oil-based, 
least it does help to just keep everything running nicely and lubricated nicely. If you've got a bit of glue that doesn't come off, you just spray it again, it'll clean off. Same with on your strip guides, spray it on them. They will get filled up with glue and you need to clean them off regularly. You can see our temperature has almost dropped out down to below 100 degrees. You just want to get that initial heat out of it. So it's going pretty slow now. It sort of gets to that point where it'll drop quite dramatically and then it will just slowly drop temperature. Okay, a bit more. And then we can just turn this one off here. That turns off the machine and uh, ready to use for you next time. So that's just a quick run through on that SCM ME15 pre-glued edge panda. And uh, yeah, good luck.